Hey there, it's Erica, and today I'm going to show you how to make all the Starbucks matcha drinks, including two secret menu drinks. A while back, I did a live taste test of all the Starbucks matcha drinks so that I could accurately recreate them for you, and I'm finally ready to share my homemade recipes. We've got a lot to go over, so let's get started. We'll begin with the official Starbucks menu drinks. The first Starbucks matcha drink that we'll be making is the classic hot matcha tea latte. You'll only need four ingredients, one teaspoon of matcha powder. Make sure you source a high quality matcha powder for the best flavor. If you cheap out here, then your matcha will taste bitter and dull. I recommend either the Thrive Market or Ancha Matcha Ceremonial Grade Matchas because they taste great and they're a great price. Okay, you'll also need one teaspoon of sugar, honey, or maple syrup. Starbucks uses sugar in their matcha latte, so use that for the most accurate recreation. One tablespoon of warm water and three quarters cup of whole milk. Measure out your matcha and sugar into a mug. Pour one tablespoon of warm water that's no more than 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 76 degrees Celsius on top of the matcha. Whisk using a matcha whisk with a back and forth motion for 20 seconds or until all the clumps of matcha are dissolved. By the way, you can whisk the matcha in a separate bowl if your mug is on the tall or narrow side. Now this can be accomplished without a matcha whisk, but it's going to be a lot more effort. If you plan on drinking matcha regularly, then I highly recommend investing in a bamboo matcha whisk. Okay, now it's time to froth your milk. I have a video with eight different ways that you can froth milk without a machine, so make sure to check that out if you don't own an espresso machine. I do own an espresso machine, so that's how I froth my milk. Now just pour the froth milk over the matcha mixture, and you can get fancy with latte art if you like. And there you have a matcha tea latte. That was so simple. I personally like my matcha latte to have a stronger matcha flavor, so I use a higher ratio of matcha than this. But this is really similar to the Starbucks version, and it's great for people who are just dipping their toes into the world of matcha. One and a quarter to one and a half teaspoons of matcha is more to my taste. Let's move on to the next Starbucks matcha drink, the iced matcha latte. There are only two extra ingredients for this drink, cream and ice. We'll start out the same as we did for the hot matcha latte. Whisk together the matcha, sugar, and four tablespoons of warm water until smooth. Now add some ice to a 16 ounce glass. Pour three quarters cup of milk and one quarter cup of cream over the ice. The cream is optional, but I think it enhances the drink. Pour the matcha mixture on top and watch the gorgeous swirl action. At Starbucks, they make this drink by shaking everything together in a jar. However, that method leaves little chunks of unmixed matcha in the drink, so I don't really recommend it. Again, I prefer more matcha in my iced latte, so increase as desired for a more punchy matcha flavor. The next official Starbucks mini drink that we're recreating is the iced matcha lemonade. This one also only requires four ingredients, one teaspoon of matcha, two tablespoons of warm water, one cup of lemonade, and ice. Start by whisking the matcha and water together until smooth. Add that to a 12 ounce glass and pour the lemonade on top. Add ice to fill. This one is refreshing for hot summer days and so, so easy to throw together. The next one is the hot version of the iced matcha lemonade. I got this when I did my live taste test, but I honestly think that they gave it to me by accident because I don't see it on the official Starbucks menu online. Okay, so we'll use the same ingredients for the iced matcha lemonade minus the ice. Heat one cup of lemonade over the stove to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 76 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, whisk together one teaspoon of matcha and two tablespoons of water in a mug until smooth. Pour the hot lemonade on top and give it a good mix. This one isn't my favorite of the recreations. It's good. I would just rather have a matcha latte. And the last Starbucks official menu drink recreation is the matcha creme frappuccino blended beverage. This is one of my favorite Starbucks drinks, and I figured out how to make a super similar version at home. Here's what you'll need. Three quarters cup of whole milk, one quarter cup of cream, one tablespoon of matcha, one tablespoon of sugar, this is less sweet than the Starbucks version, which is intentional on my part. If you prefer a sweeter frappuccino, feel free to bump up the sugar or add some vanilla syrup. One quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and one and a half cups of ice. Now, if you want this to be super similar to the Starbucks version, then you can add one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum as well. Xanthan gum is an emulsifier and a thickening agent, so it will prevent the frappuccino from separating as it sits. Okay, place all of the ingredients in a blender and blend until everything is smooth and the frappuccino has thickened. If there are some bits of matcha on the sides and lid of the blender pitcher, you can scrape those back into the drink with a spatula and blend again until incorporated. Pour into a 20 ounce glass. Now I always get whipped cream on my frappuccinos, so I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make a small amount of whipped cream at home. Place four tablespoons of whipping cream in a small glass or measuring cup. Add two to three teaspoons of sugar or maple syrup and one eighth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whip that with a handheld milk frother until nice and thick. 
You could also use canned whipped cream, but why not make it when it's so easy? Now scoop or pipe that over your matcha frappuccino. This one is so, so good. I'd say it's really similar to the Starbucks version, just less sweet. Okay, now let's move into the secret menu drinks. The first one I believe is a viral TikTok secret menu hack. You basically order the pink drink and ask for matcha sweet cream on top. This one took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in order to recreate. There were several fail attempts as evidenced by my recipe testing notebook. But I finally figured out how to make a homemade pink drink that tastes really similar to Starbucks. You'll need one third cup of white cranberry strawberry juice. Thanks to Emily Peaches for the tip to use this particular juice for the pink drink. At first I was trying to use a hibiscus tea and a white grape juice to recreate this and it was a disaster. You can also add two tablespoons of mango juice to the mix, which helps to edge the flavor closer to the Starbucks version. This is optional, but delicious. Thanks to Honeysuckle for the idea to add the mango juice. Okay, you'll also need half a cup of coconut milk drink. Don't use canned coconut milk here, it won't be the same. A vanilla coconut milk will make this taste similar to Starbucks, but a plain coconut milk will work just fine as well. I prefer an unsweetened coconut milk so that it doesn't add any more sweetness, but if you're going for authentic Starbucks, then add all the sugar. Finally, you'll need freeze-dried strawberries and ice. You can pick up freeze-dried strawberries at Target and probably most other grocery stores. Okay, place all the ingredients into a quart-sized mason jar. Put the lid on and shake it all up. Pour into a 16 ounce glass. Now it's time to make the matcha sweet cream. In a small glass or measuring cup, place three tablespoons of heavy cream, one tablespoon of milk, one tablespoon of maple syrup or simple syrup, one teaspoon of matcha powder, and a few drops of vanilla extract. Whip until the mixture is frothy and thickened, but not so thick that it resembles whipped cream. You want it to still be pourable. Now pour that over the pink drink. This one is honestly so good, but it's not quite as good in my opinion as the next secret menu drink, which is the iced matcha latte with strawberry sweet cream. I mean, this is just so dang good. The bright strawberry flavors with the matcha. Okay, let's start with how to make the strawberry sweet cream. To get the strawberry flavor, we're going to use strawberry puree. And to make strawberry puree, you just put fresh strawberries in a blender and blend until smooth. I recommend freezing any extra puree in ice cube trays with the exact amount you'll need for each drink. Then you can pull a cube of strawberry puree out of the freezer and put it in the fridge to thaw the night before you plan on making this drink. Onto the sweet cream. In a small glass or measuring cup, place three tablespoons of heavy cream, one tablespoon of milk, two tablespoons of the strawberry puree, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and a few drops of vanilla extract. Whip until frothy and thickened, but again, not as thick as whipped cream. Otherwise, it will be too thick to mix with the rest of the drink. Okay, make the iced matcha latte that I showed you at the start of the video and pour the strawberry sweet cream on top of that. If I was to pick my favorite of these recreations, it's a toss up for me between the strawberry sweet cream iced matcha latte, matcha frappuccino, and matcha sweet cream pink drink. They're all really good, minus the hot matcha lemonade, but these are the must tries for me. So that's how to make all the Starbucks matcha drinks. If you'd like to learn how to make even more Starbucks copycat recipes, then make sure to check out my Starbucks playlist.